Hi students, in this session I am going to teach you 5 super tricks for IUPAC nomenclature. These simple tricks will give you clarity regarding the nomenclature. Let us see trick number 1. This trick is related to unsaturation. When there is a double bond and a triple bond, how you have to give numbering, this, gives, this trick gives you the uh, clarity. For example, see the first structure. In this structure, it is having double bond as well as a triple bond. So, in, from which direction you have you give the numbering? For example, if you give from left to right, I mean this is my left hand and this is my right hand. So, left to right. See here, this is uh, first 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. In the same way, you can give numbering from uh, if you give numbering from right to left, if you give numbering from right to left, triple bond is getting third position, double bond is getting four, five, fifth position. If you give from left to right, double bond is getting second position and triple bond fifth position. If you give from uh, right to left, triple bond is getting uh, third position. So, uh, right to left to right is a correct order of giving numbering because double bond is getting number two position. This, uh, this point gives you clarity that you have to keep in mind that when you are giving a numbering, double bond or triple bond anyone should get the lowest numbering for example you see this structure if you give from left to right you double bond gets a second position if you give from left to right to left triple bond gets the first position so which one you have which one is a correct right to left is correct because triple bond is getting the lowest position 1 2 3 4 5 6 in this direction numbering is correct this is correct and if you see this uh, third structure if you give numbering from left to right it is getting double bond is getting second position and triple bond is getting fourth position fourth position if you give numbering from if you give numbering from uh, right to left triple bond is getting second position double bond is getting third position so fourth position so both are at equal places double bond and triple bond you know both are at equal places then which one you have to give numbering in which direction you have to give numbering when both are at equal places then you have to give numbering always from double bond double bond should get the lowest numbering so down one this is a correct way of numbering you know second position in should come and fourth position ein should come got the clarity so normally double bond or triple bond anything any one which one is getting a lowest position based on that you have to give numbering but if both are at equal positions you have to give priority to the double bond first then the triple bond coming to the trick number two here i want to give you clarity regarding when ring is there and normal chain is there what is that? When ring is there and normal chain is there, based on uh, which one is an uh, side chain, which one is an parent chain, I want to tell you. Here, ring is having three carbons and side chain is having only one carbon. So, this is a side chain. This is a side chain. So, methyl cyclopropane. Its name will be methyl cyclopropane. Cyclopropane. Here, I am not discussing the rules to give the naming. Okay, and here two carbons are there. So, its name is ethyl cyclopropane. You don't get any confusion here. But when you have this kind of, you know, three carbons, I will keep. One, two, three. For example, you have three carbons in a, this open chain and three carbons in a cyclic ring. Then which one you have to give a priority? Here you feel a confu confusion. Here also you have to consider open chain as your side chain. Then its name is propy, propy cyclopropane, cyclopropane, but propane. But whenever ring and ring and uh, uh, side chain both are having equal number of carbons then ring only your parent chain but whenever your open chain is having more number of carbons like a four carbons in that case this ring becomes a side chain then you give numbering from 
the ring where it is connected first position cyclopropyl group is connected one cyclopropyl then its name is total four carbons are there root word is but and all are single bonds so butane one cyclopropyl butane is its name okay but here i want to tell you one more point also when both are in equal numbers i told you open chain becomes a side chain but whenever there is any Uh, functional group or any junior functional group or any side chain then in that case even though it is having three carbons equal number of carbons it is it becomes a parent chain then it name will be give numbering from here one cyclopropyl two chloropropane okay one cyclopropyl two chloro propane clear got the clarity a small correction here see cyclopropyl so we need to consider p alphabetical order as per as per alphabetical order c so as per alphabetic this is p this is as per alphabetical order c comes first so while giving a naming we need to follow the alphabetical order so 2 chloro comes first Two, then its name is two chloro, one cyclopropyl propane. Is it clear? Its name is two chloro, one cyclopropyl, cyclopropyl, cyclopropane, cyclopropyl propane, cyclopropyl propane. now i am going to teach you uh, in a trick one you got the clarity about double bond and triple bond in trick two when open chain and a ring is there what you have to consider as a parent chain i got i gave you the clarity if you see the trick number 3 in this see the structure if the structures are like this you uh, you know students feel little difficulty of naming these compounds so here i am going to teach you the simplest trick that these are the uh, you know rules but when you study as a rules you don't see this much of difference but if you find a best mentor then you can get you know all this in an easiest way you can learn double bond ch2 and here you can see This is ethylene. This is a uh, methylene, methylene, methylene. Its name is methylene. Its name is ethylene, ethylene. Because it is having two carbons, it is having only one carbon which is connected here. So it is methylene, ethylene. That's it. You give this to the uh, uh, cyclic ring name and give the entire name. Suppose this is methylene. and this is cyclic ring cyclo and total 6 carbons are there that's it its name is methylene methylene cyclo hexane see students how easy it is now give a naming in the same way it is ethylene 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 cyclohexane cyclohexane now in the same way here also you can give the naming first what you have to do is you have to select the longest chain 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 7 carbon longest chain you have selected and this is a which group tell me double bond c ch3 is there so it is ethylene group at which position ethylene is there fourth position so 4 ethylene 4 ethylene total 7 carbons are there so hepta first position and fifth position double bond is there so 1 1, 5 diene here my intention is not to explain you about this naming here my uh, uh, you know intention is to explain about the difference between the while you are giving a numbering how you should get the clarity okay see here in a trick number 4 i want to tell you when more than two same functional groups are directly connected to the parent chain like this if two functional groups are present then how you can give the naming is you you should not include this in a parent chain okay you have to select this as your main chain this is your parent chain all the 
functional groups you have to uh, you know give as a different naming how you can give the naming is if suppose only two two cohs are there means it is a secondary suffix you have to give oic acid oic acid you have to give but whenever three are there you have to give carboxylic acid is a naming carboxylic usually we give oic acid but here you should not give oic acid you should use carboxylic acid so its name is three carbons are there in a parent chain propane first position second position third position carboxylic acid is there so its name is propane 1 comma 2 comma 3 tri carboxylic acid is its name okay you can also say you can include uh, this also in a parent chain 1 2 3 4 5 uh, so you can say 3 carboxy pentane 1 comma 5 dioic acid also you say but this is an you know correct iupac naming so all i am going to teach in a, in this rule uh, see here also when more than two nitrile groups are there you should not include them in the parent chain you have to consider this as your parent chain 1 2 3 if normally two is there or one is there you have to use nitrile is your secondary suffix but i am not telling what is secondary suffix here like main functional group if suppose uh, if in this case these three becomes carbonitrile you have to use what carbonitrile then its name is propane propane 1 comma 2 comma 3 tri carbonitrile try carbonitrile is it clear will you try this one will you try this one try it click on pause and try this one i'll give you hint normally secondary suffix is all and but here you will use carbaldehyde carbaldehyde now you try click on pause and try its name is propane 1 comma 2 comma 3 because three uh, functional groups are there i mean three chos are there so its name is tri carbaldehyde in a trick number 4 you got the clarity regarding when more than two same functional group is there how you have to give the naming now what i'm going to do is i'm going to teach you trick number 5 in this trick you are going to learn about aldehyde and ketone how you can give the naming see aldehyde if it is a main functional group we use all for a ketone we use on see this is the first two letters all we use here the last three letters on we use when it is a main functional group that is secondary suffix but whenever it is a side chain that is secondary prefix main functional group means secondary suffix side chain means secondary prefix in that case for aldehyde we use oxo formal two names for ketones we use oxo ketone but when you have to use oxo when you have to use formal i am going to teach you now oxo you have to use when aldehyde group is present in the main parent chain okay formal you have to use when it is present as a side chain i will give you the clarity for example you have this structure start giving numbering from coh because carboxylic acid is a main uh, functional group priority senior functional group one ma'am how i will come to know which is a senior which is a junior one order is there for that you have to follow that order 1 2 3 4 5 6 so sixth position oxo group is there aldehyde sixth position oxo sixth position oxo and third position also keto group is there c double bond h means aldehyde only c double bond of ketone so third position uh, double bond o is there so you can use either oxo or you can use a keto both are correct you can use oxo or keto suppose if you are using oxo then it is 3 comma 6 oxo then uh, its name will be 3 comma 6 dioxo you can use total 6 carbon so hexanoic acid hexanoic acid i'm not telling you this entire naming okay 3 comma 6 dioxo i'm giving you the clarity ma'am no ma'am i don't want to use oxo you can use keto also so third position oxo uh, and a, a fifth position sorry sixth position oxo and third position keto 
ए बी सी डी एफ जी एच आई जे के एल एम एन या के कम्स फर्स्ट राइट सो थर्ड पोजीशन कीटो सिक्स पोजीशन ऑक्सो एंड टोटल सिक्स कार्बन सो हेक्सनोइक एसिड हेक्सनोइक एसिड एनीथिंग इन दिस बोथ आर करेक्ट ओके बट व्हेन मैम व्हेन आई शुड यूज फॉर्मल सी ऑक्सो एंड कीटो आर एनी टाइम यू कैन यूज यू कैन यूज ऑक्सो और यू कैन यूज कीटो बट फॉर ऑल डी हेड इट इज नॉट लाइक दैट ऑक्सो यू हैव टू यूज व्हेन इट इज इंक्लूडेड इन द नंबरिंग पेरेंट चेन बट फॉर्मल यू हैव टू यूज व्हेन इट इज प्रेजेंट एज अ साइड चेन फॉर एग्जाम्पल सी आई विल टेल यू हियर इट इज द केस सपोज सी एच ओ देन स्टार्ट नंबरिंग वन टू थ्री फोर and this is a side chain then you should say 3 for my butanoic acid butanoic acid here you are not giving numbering to this so you should not use oxo see this example give numbering from here and this is a side chain for side chain also you have to give numbering like this then at fourth position third position oxo is there because you are giving numbering to that and total 3 carbons are there propyl total 7 carbons heptane and first position and seventh position aldehyde is there so it is diol four oxo fourth position 3 oxo heptane 1 comma 7 diol clear like this so many tricks are there uh, in iupsc nomenclature and uh, uh, many chapters are there with lots of tricks if you want to study all these tricks in a systematic ma manner you can go through my youtube channel and all many tricks are there no ma'am still i want to learn all the chapters in a systematic manner then you can uh, whatsapp me my whatsapp number i'm going to give in a description as well as in a channel banner so that you can send your 10 mark sheet and photocopy you know many courses are going on you can enroll into the courses and you can just learn chemistry in an easiest way and systematic manner my name is komali i am your chemistry mentor thank you so much for watching this video